Some books take us to another time and place. Some books take us into the future. Some books take us to another country. But today's book is taking us into outer space. Space, 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 space. And you don't even need your own rocket ship. Excuse me? Yes, astronaut person? Have you seen a uh, spaceship? Was it white? <laughs> yes. A little bit of black markings on it? <laughs> yes. I think it said NASA on it? <laughs> That's the one. That way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, now that we're done helping the astronaut, now we have to help this guy right here, looking for his planet. Have you ever been lost? I mean, if you've ever been lost in a grocery store and you know how freaky that is, can you imagine being lost in outer space? Space, 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 space. That is a lot. So hopefully we'll be able to help just like we helped the moon person. Here we go. Beep is his name. <gasps> to you from Storyteller. Hey, 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 wait, wait, can you put green bear? Oh, go! Hey, 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 wait a minute, I wanted to say red bear. Ha, that's really a cool trick. Really, it should say Olivia the Ostrich, the premier ostrich actress of her generation. That's a little bit long. Whoop, see, anything is possible. <gasps> that's a bit long. Let's just say, okay, I'm sorry, time. Yes, now we're all represented and the book is still for you. So shall we? Beep was lost. Oh no, looking, not seeing, and, and, and the GPS is clearly not working. At least he's got his faithful companion next to him. Where is my planet? I know it's here somewhere. It is small and red and beautiful. I see, I don't see it yet. Do you see it? No. Small, red, and beautiful, check. He zipped around the solar system, searching. Are you my planet? Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. No, you're not small, you're huge. That's right, because he specifically said small and red, not big and red. Although I have to say, I really like this planet. Can I stay there? Mm, I don't think it can sustain bear life yet. Yet? At least not yet. Uh, are you my planet? Saturn's rings are made of ice, dust, and rock. I don't think so, but what lovely rings you have. Oh, Saturn is the most distinctive looking planet. You can pick it out because it has all these rings around it. Oh, look at that. That planet's playing hula hoop. Or you can look at it as hula hoops. You are definitely not my planet. You're sideways. How nifty. Uranus is the only planet that spins on its side. On its side. So if we were transmitting to you right now from Uranus, we would be sideways. This is uncomfortable. I feel all the blood rushing to my ear. Okay, let's switch back. Well, that was an experiment. Are you my planet? Oh, nope. You're blustery and blue. I'm looking for a red planet. Neptune is the windiest planet. Oh, that's why he said it was blustery and blue. Ah, uh, where is the planet that is Paris? Oh, uh, Shields, Paris is, uh, it's a city, and some might argue it's a state of mind. But it's not a planet. It's just, it's a city. Ah, ma chérie, don't you know? Uh, don't I know what? That for a French giraffe, Paris is more than a city. It is the world, ooh la la. You can't argue with French giraffe logic. Where is my planet? My small, red, beautiful planet. Beep kept searching. Meanwhile, there's Uranus on its side and there's Neptune, right? Is that what we learned? Yes, the windy planet right there. And this guy, he probably doesn't have any directions and the GPS still isn't working. Are you my planet? Oh, impossible. You're much too busy. Oh, 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 storyteller, I recognize this one. That's our planet, Doug the Dinosaur. And yours too. Oh, yes, look, 
Earth is home to more than 7 billion people. Wow, that is a lot of people. It is a lot of people, isn't it? And look at that. We are busy. We have airplanes and we have rockets. Oh, like the one we saw at the beginning? Yes, and the moon man that was running around out there. And, and then we have satellites and we have a moon. And oh, the, this is very busy. But I guess this is not where Beep wants to go. I understand. There is no place like home. Are you my Oh no, not a planet anymore. Oh dear, sorry about that. Good luck. Pluto used to be called a planet, now it's called a dwarf planet. Pluto is still not happy about that and has never really gotten over it. Would you, after that kind of demotion? <laughs> Are you my planet? Or you? Oh no, my planet is not nearly as toasty as you two. Will I ever find my planet? Well, will that GPS that you have ever work? I mean, you have a, a vehicle that can take you through the solar system in, in super fast speeds, and yet it cannot give you directions. Computers, they're difficult everywhere, aren't they? Venus is the hottest planet, even though Mercury is closest to the sun. So there's Venus, and there is Mercury, the closest to the sun. And there's the sun, like, saying, Beep, are you ever going to find your place? Then, <gasps> Beep saw something, and even Ruffarella here is like, Whoa! It was small. It was red. It was beautiful. Could it be? Oh, is it me? No, but I think it's the planet. Yay! Because I bet that his family was starting to get worried. I know, right? Probably dinner time. My planet! I am so happy to see you! Mars is coated with rusty red dust. And with one last blast of his spaceship, thank God. Goodness, he had filled up the tank before leaving, because that was a long ride. Beep was home! Roo, 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 roo. And look at that, there's there's Mrs. Beep, and look, it looks like they have a little baby Beep. And, and everybody's looking and really happy, like there's Earth saying, Oh, so glad you made it, and the sun's shining down on them, and there's a beautiful home. And even Mars is happy to have Beep home. And look at our gorgeous solar system. There we all are, all the planets of our world. Oh, where's the dark black and purple one? I don't think that exists. I'm sure it's here somewhere, somewhere. That's, that's my place. I, no, you're, you're from Earth. I'm pretty sure I'm not. You know, I think maybe you're not. <laughs> but where is it? Where's my planet? Where's my planet? I gotta go look for it. Okay, good luck with that finding a black and purple planet. But here's, oh, this is a beautiful place, isn't it? We got there's Earth, there's Sun. <gasps> look, look who's there. And and that, and the, and the astronaut is there. And there, there's Beep again, going out and, and adventuring. And there's the satellites and what a beautiful world that we live in, isn't it? Beep, beep. Beep. Green Bear, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just hitching a ride on this super cool astronaut thing, and uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go back to the stars and be right back. I'll be back before dinner. Don't get lost like Beep. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so now you know how to go out of this world with us. See you next time, kid, right here on Kid Time Storytime, where we keep it down to earth.